John Fernandez is running again. Something he thought he'd never do after a bomb woke him from sleep while deployed in Iraq. I pulled off my sleeping bag and looked at my feet. You know, kind of lost control there for a second, but then regained my composure and said, okay, you know, what are you going to do? John didn't let the accident shatter his dreams. I realized relatively quickly that there are a lot of options out there. And the only thing that was going to hold me back was my attitude, and I wasn't going to let that happen. Those options came in the form of prosthetics. No longer just a wooden stump painted to look like a leg or foot, prosthetics have gone high tech, mimicking real joints. We have different processes in terms of making a prosthesis. Vincent Beninati is CEO of East Coast Prosthetics. He manufactures prosthetics for people like John. One of the newest things out there in terms of prosthetics is a computer chip inside the knee. It's analyzing every movement, and it knows exactly when for it to lock up, when to release. As you see, when he goes to put his heel down, you don't want it to give out. John's knees were spared. His prosthetics give him flexibility in the ankle. You can see how it bends. Now he can do anything he wants. I can run, I can play golf, I can ride my bike, I go mountain biking. I do everything that I did before. But for some people, there is no before. Four-year-old Troy Mayo was born with deformed limbs. Living with disfigured arms and legs is all he knows. He would always say, Mommy, I want to play. You know, I want to do what the rest of the kids do. And he couldn't do that. For Troy, proper fitting prosthetic legs changed his life. I hit deformities on both sides, left and right foot. He couldn't wear shoes. He could walk uh, without the shoes on, but very barely. So what we had to do was basically fit his foot, what he had, his deformity, inside the prosthesis. And then on the other side, uh, we made a brace to fit the other deformity. It's got to make you feel good to see him, you know, walking around and playing. It's like he doesn't even know that he has a problem. When he got up and he started walking right away, and I don't even say walking, running, uh, just fantastic. Ask Troy about his new legs, and he'll proudly show you his Scooby-Doo's. With the legs now, he runs. He's just a kid. He does whatever he wants now. Nothing's stopping him. Troy is facing an amputation down the road. As he grows, he'll have to be refitted for his prosthetics. Well, John, on the other hand, is going to play in this year's alumni lacrosse game at